Tonight, we're going to talk about social emotional learning and diversity, equity, and inclusion. I wanna show you a few products that will help guide you in teaching this in your classroom. It's gonna be really important next year more than ever. So let's start right here with one of our ready to decorate posters. This is our diversity iceberg. So you're going, the kids are going to write my favorite feature on the outside of me and then my favorite feature on the inside of me. So the best thing that we all know about icebergs is you can only see a tip. So this is qualities I have on the outside that people can see, qualities I have on the inside of me that people can't see. So you can see this is a great visual for the kids to start looking at themselves and how diverse they are. So let me move this over here. And speaking of diversity, let's go here. We have a lot of books on our website, but here is a couple favorites that will help you. This one is Together in the World, Culture and Diversity. So the thing I like about this book is that it goes through, let's turn it right here. Let's look at the table of contents. Your life, what is culture, what is diversity, learning from our families, the places we live, customs and traditions values, religions, celebrations. You can see this covers so many topics and it has great illustrations, great diversity shown throughout the book. So this is a great one to introduce to your class. Another one that's a little less obvious is Errol's Garden. So after the kids learn about diversity, equity, and inclusion, this is a great book. So it's about um, a little boy who wants to build a garden, but he lives in an apartment building. So in apartment buildings, where do you go to build your garden? You go to the roof. So as he starts planning this garden, he starts talking to his neighbors and look at this. Look at all the people that want to help. We have people of different um, ethnicities, religions, we even have differently cap uh, capable people. So what they do is they all work together. They, I love this. Everyone had different things to bring, which was good. And so working together, they ended up making this beautiful garden. So this is a great story for you to share with your class. A couple great books. We have a lot more on the website. So books are a good way to start those conversations in your classroom. The next thing I'm gonna show you is our emotions um, book here. So this is Today I Feel, and it goes over all different emotions. We use lots of photos for this. So in this flip book, you're gonna see there's different tabs over here. So if you put this in like a calm down corner or a quiet zone, the child can choose which feeling they're having. So you might send a child over there because they're too excited. So it talks about feeling excited. Um, this is how it can look. Which one of these does not belong? Cross it off. Yes, this is laminated and dry erase. Sketch what it might look like when you feel excited. Circle the things below that can make you excited. You could sketch something else. So see, just going through this and drawing and thinking they're going to really be able to calm themselves down. How frequently do you feel excited? So this is a good indicator for the teacher. And now we go to the strategies. So let's look. We have deep belly breathing. So this will walk them through the steps for deep belly breathing. Going for a walk. So it says get permission from an adult to go for a walk. So this is a good one. You definitely need um, permission. And then the other one is do yoga. So there's several different, here's I feel happy, content, confused, let's flip it, sad, anxious, worried, and angry. So we have lots of pictorial representations and lots of activities for them to do. In this set, you get two of these books because we all know sometimes you have more than one kid who has these emotions. And we also gave you this reproducible that you can photocopy and put over there as well. Make a happiness list, and it says use with page 14. Acts of kindness challenge, color a picture, 
as much as some people think, oh, coloring's for little kids, coloring pictures is a great way to calm yourself down. Color a picture, let it out. Then we've got use the worry jar. I love this. Write or sketch three of your worries in the cookies. Like how much fun is that? Write a note to your teacher. And then finally, make a worry monster. So this is a great set for you to have in your classroom, in your calm down corner, all the things. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is our social emotional privacy shield. So let me fold this out so you can see it. I love the colors and the sayings on here. You have a purpose. Be the best version of yourself today and every day. And I think this is my favorite. The only person you should compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday. So you can see this is great on the outside. And then this is the side that the students will see. So if you are feeling upset or anxious, practice one of the relaxation strategies below until you are filming, feeling calm again. Chair exercises, stretching, belly breathing, counting, meditation. Here's another activity. This is our breathing star. So start with your eyes on the dot and then follow the edges of the star as you slowly breathe in and out to manage your emotions. And then over here, we have some positive affirmations. I'm strong, I'm brave, I'm helpful, I'm caring, I'm friendly, I'm important, I am kind. So this is a great reminder to have on the kids' desks every day. So the next thing I wanna show you, which coordinates with it. So if you don't wanna use privacy shields, we have this desktop helper. So it still has the calming strategies. It has the positive affirmations, a big place to put name. And then this one is the same breathing star, but now you're gonna put your finger on and follow as you do those breathing in and out to calm yourself down. This is our deluxe plastic. Let me show you. It's that plasticky material that doesn't rip and the whole entire back is sticky. So these will stay on the desk. The only thing I will tell you about the deluxe plastic is you cannot use chemicals on them else it will take the ink off, but you can use a damp cloth to just wipe over it. So I love this one. I think every child should have this on their desk as a reminder. I hope you are doing well socially and emotionally and you are thinking of strategies to definitely bring diversity, equity, and inclusion into your classroom. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you here next week at 8 p.m. on Thursday. Bye!